Hey, what's up everybody? Daniel here from Never Enough Tech. Welcome to my magic t-shirt tutorial. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to quickly bond a screen element, so my channel logo in this case, with a moving point, or the tip of my finger, and how to take that element and integrate it into a warping surface, in this case, my t-shirt. I achieved these effects using two plugins from Pixel Film Studios. Auto Tracker 2.2, recently updated from 2.1, so feel free to update if you've already purchased and downloaded, and Surface Tracker. Let's learn how to acquire and install these Final Cut Pro plugins. So here we are in pixelfilmstudios.com. You can buy the suite of trackers that include both of these plugins and three others, or you can buy the two separately for $20 cheaper as of the day of my recording. So obviously these plugins are not super cheap, but they are a one-time purchase as opposed to a subscription for a one-time purchase application. So you're not gonna have to be paying each month to use this plugin. You also get unlimited downloads, so as far as I can tell, you can install your purchase plugin on as many computers as you want. No, this video is definitely not sponsored. Once you purchase these plugins, you will need to download and install, and you can do this by going to Accounts and selecting Download next to the plugin you wish to install. While downloading, make sure the final cut is closed. Once you've downloaded your plugin, you'll need to unzip the download file, open the folder, double click the install file, then select begin installation in the install window. You may be asked for your email as a credential and computer password to complete the install. But overall, the installation process is fast and easy. Okay, all right, let's open Final Cut Pro. Here you can see we have our three segments already loaded into the timeline. The first thing we want to do is overlay the Auto Tracker plugin on our first clip where the icon is guided to the center of my shirt with my fingertip. You will find this plugin in the title section. Look for Final Cut Pro X Auto Tracker. All we need is the drop zone option. Once the title is overlaid, you will need to go to Track Editor. Go ahead and make sure the red playhead is set to the beginning of the clip. and move the tracker box to the tip of your finger. You will want to move the center of the box to a point of high contrast. Luckily, my hand and shirt provide very good contrast. It's why I made the icon appear with my shirt in the background. Once all this is done, you'll need to track the finger frame by frame. This is kind of what you paid for. As opposed to manually keyframing the movements, all you have to do is press the forward track button and this plugin will do all the tracking for you. So let it run through all the frames of the clip. You can check the progress on the upper left of the auto tracker window. After it's done, press export data. Next, we need to place the icon in the drop zone. Note that the icon will not appear on screen if you are in track mode. I will edit in display mode as I find it's the best way to view the icon next to the finger. From here, use your judgment to adjust the scale and object position to your liking. I just use the pan and scale options in the drop zone control section. In the second segment, we are going to just place the icon as an overlay so it looks like it's floating above the shirt, but not attached. Scale and position to taste to achieve the kind of transition you're looking for. I went ahead and added the drop shadow to emphasize the floating aspect. All right, last is where the real magic happens we will apply the Surface Tracker title over the final clip. Once you've done so, press Open Editor. What we want to do now is to find the general region where we want the logo to be placed. Again, make sure your playhead is at the beginning of the clip. I like the box as a selection option as I find it provides more area to play. 
I created a large space, but be mindful that if any part of the box becomes too distorted during tracking, it can lead to an undesired warping of your image. So you may want to play around with the size. Note that you do not have to use up all of the box, but you can use any of the box. So making the surface tracking area as big as possible, in the end, gives you more freedom. All right, after you've defined your surface area, press Auto Triangulate Mesh. This forms a database for how each tracking dot relates to one another. Clearly there are lots of parameters you can play with. I'm trying to get you introduced to the critical 80% with this tutorial. If you find that your tracking dots start disappearing, then you will need to reset and redefine your area, or you may have to reshoot the scene. As little as a passing shadow can throw off the tracking function, unfortunately. So you have to be really strategic when using this plugin. When the plugin is done tracking your surface area, press Export Data. Then, get the icon into the drop zone. Size to your liking. For this clip, I adjust the transparency to improve the blend of the icon with the shirt. After this, you're done. Let's watch it in action. Doesn't look perfect, but looks like a good start to me. Anyway, that's it. Hope you got what you're looking for. I'm sure you savvy viewers will be better than me with this plugin in no time. Gonna wrap this up, catch you on the next one.